in outside Africa now. A NATO Secretary General, Jens Stoltenberg, says he wants to see sanctions fully implemented against Belarus following the forced landing of a flight in May to arrest opposition journalist Roman Protasevich. Prime Minister Boris Johnson called the incident appalling and outrageous, adding that it was important that the Allies stand together in protest. Now, NATO's 30 Allies released a two-paragraph statement on Wednesday condemning the full and down of Ryanair flight to arrest journalist Roman Petrosevich, but did not include any punitive steps that Baltic allies and Poland had pressed for. Uh, I think if you look at what's happened uh, recently with the uh, appalling, outrageous incident of the uh, of the hijacking uh, over over Belarus, uh, I think NATO members will be wanting to uh, stand together in protest against uh, what happened and uh, to call for the release of Roman uh, Protasevich and, and 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 indeed his uh, his girlfriend from captivity in in Belarus. But uh, yes, you, it's it's very the standing together against threats from the East is very much part of your, of your vision 2030, isn't it? Uh, and of course, I totally agree with, um, uh, with you, Boris, that uh, uh, it is absolutely unacceptable what uh, uh, Belarus did, the forced landing of uh, a civilian aircraft on its way from one NATO capital, Athens, to another NATO captain, uh, capital, Vilnius. And we call on the immediate police of those arrested, and also for an uh, uh, independent, uh, impartial uh, international investigation. And I welcome sanctions imposed by the United Kingdom and other NATO allies and the EU uh, as a clear uh, message and, uh, and, and, and sending a message that it has consequences when the regime in Minsk behaved the way they did. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.